Okay, so I want to explain to you guys right quick of the high booster transmission slipping, jumping out of gear. All right, this is high booster transmission, Gen 1 high booster transmission. Uh, the Gen 2 and Gen 1s all look the same. Same gears look alike and all that good stuff. However, this is the second gear. It's as common for it to jump out, okay? It's the two pieces here. What happens is these two gears that interlock in between each other, they'll slowly but surely start walking apart and, and hence it will cause, cause it to pop out. So when they undercut the gear, they would take it and grind it, machine it to go undercut four degrees, two to four degrees underneath it. So therefore they can now interlock with each other instead of walk apart, okay? When the gears pops out, it holds up against the shift farts, okay? It presses up against the shift farts, all right? And it causes damage to the shift fart, big time damage, okay? So when you get your transmission repaired from being undercut, it's a great thing to always replace the shift cam because on the tip of the fork, it rubs up against the points of when you shift the gears to move the shift forks over, it can wear on that. So I strongly suggest you to replace the shift cam, all the forks, and get the transmission every gear fully undercut. Not only is it on Hayabusa model, it's on a lot of other sport bike models as well. So once again, that's what it, that's the damage that it's caused when your motorcycle jumps out of gear and don't hold typically with the high boosters. Yes, we know about the dog ears wearing all that good stuff, but that's typical on most sport bikes and mainly on the high booster model.